Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I send you my regards from Qatar, and I regret not to be present today in Sao Paulo at this important networking event organized by DIMA, as I'm attending at the same time some meetings with the delegation of the state of Qatar in Washington, D.C. I believe a good number of entities, companies, and individuals are gathered today to learn and discuss about business opportunities and investment projects in Brazil. In my concern as the principal legal counsel of the Qatar Chamber of Commerce and Industry and of the Qatar International Center for Arbitration, I would like to present some of the salient characteristics of the business climate and opportunities in Qatar. Therefore, I shall cover two topics in the following few minutes. The first topic will be about what makes Qatar attractive to business from a legal perspective. The second topic will be what is the legal framework to do an economic activity successfully in Qatar. Let's start by the very first topic, which is what makes Qatar attractive to business. As you know, both Brazil and Qatar belong respectively to two large regional economic groups, the Mercosur and the GCC. In 2005, at the South American Arab States Summit held in Brasilia, Mercosur and GCC have signed a framework agreement in economic activities to facilitate investments and trade between the members of these two economic groups. Also on a bilateral level, Brazil and Qatar are members of the World Trade Organization and have signed several important treaties and conventions. I can mention to you two. The first one, it's the Bilateral Investment Treaty for the promotion and protection of bilateral investments, the so-called BIT. And the second convention is a convention which has been signed between our two countries to avoid double taxation. Very recently, His Excellency the President of Brazil, Bolsonaro, has paid a visit to the region of the Gulf and has visited Qatar. I quote His Excellency saying, Brazil and Qatar are economies which have a lot to offer to each other. During his official talks with His Highness the Emir of Qatar, Sheikh Tamim Al Sani, the President of Brazil, Bolsonaro, stressed on the importance of increasing the volume of trade and investment between the two countries. In fact, Qatar is a very attractive destination for business. Qatar offers world-class infrastructure with an airport considered one of the most modern airports in the world, a seaport which has been launched only a year and a half ago, an infrastructure of tunnels, roads, a subway, and so many other examples which are actually at their final phase in preparation to receive and welcome from the whole world the supporters for the FIFA World Cup 2022. Also, Qatar is offering a transparent and competitive operating environment, a business-friendly laws and regulations, a robust financial capacities, and a multicultural friendly environment. Like Brazil, Qatar is a civil law tradition country and this helps and facilitates to understand 
much better the mechanisms of establishing economic activities, companies, joint ventures, etc. between our two respective countries. Qatar, in the last few years, has modernized a large number of its laws and regulations and has also enacted a good number of new laws to facilitate trade and investment, to facilitate the entry of capitals, to facilitate the ownership of foreigners or non-Qataris of different economic sectors in Qatar. In 2022, another set of laws shall be published to facilitate such activities and to offer more incentives to attract foreign direct investment dedicated to the foreign investors. While Qatar relies principally on its large amounts of oil and gas discovered onshore and offshore, and the exports of Qatar of the liquefied natural gas LNG to several countries in the world, Qatar has undertaken also a policy of diversifying its economy and establishing new industries and establishing services which Brazilian manufacturers, industrials, traders and service providers can find in them a lot of opportunities. Now I pass to the second topic, stressing more on the legal framework of business activities in Qatar. In fact, I would like in the beginning to draw a distinction between doing business with Qatar and doing business in Qatar. Of course, if you want to do business with Qatar, it means that you have a kind of product or a service that you would like to sell to Qatar that necessitates maybe not your physical presence in Qatar, but just Dima will assist you in finding a reliable partner, a distributor, a distribution company, a reliable partner in order to make your uh, products uh, marketed in a very well way and presented in an optimal way in the Qatari markets. Then, of course, the biggest part of the activity will be conducted in Qatar. So if you wish to be present in Qatar and to uh, take advantage of all these incentives and advantages offered to the foreign investors, there are several channels which offer you this possibility. Of course, the first channel will be according to the Qatari company's law to create here a mixed economy company with a Qatari partner. And usually it's the form of a limited liability company where you can find a Qatari partner and establish a company under the Qatari law. According to the company's law of Qatar, this company will have a capital not less than 200,000 Qatari riyals. Of course, it has to have a bank account. It has to be uh, managed by a board of directors. And according to the actual company's law of Qatar, the highest percentage of the participation of a Brazilian or any foreign company shall be 49%, while the remaining 51% shall be uh, owned by the Qatari partner. However, this can be reflected in the distribution of profit differently. Let me give you a practical example. We have a company from Brazil, B, which decided to open a limited liability company with a Qatari partner, Q, 
B owns 49% of the shares. Q owns 51% of the shares. When we come to establish the company, we may come between the partners to an agreement that B percentage of the profits will be up to 90% and Q percentage of the profit can be as low as 10%. The management usually of such company will be in the hands of both the Brazilian partner and the Qatari partner. Another choice, if you wish to be totally owning the shares of your company, is to come and establish your company under the so-called the Qatar Financial Center. This is a kind of onshore jurisdiction, which is separate from the jurisdiction of Qatar, but it has this advantage that it is based on the ownership of 100% by the foreign company. A third choice, I would say, if your product or your service is a high-tech product, it's to establish your company in the so-called the Sciences and Technology Park. Recently also, Qatar has established three very important free zones where any company can open a branch or an office with a 100% ownership of its capital. So there are several possibilities to create your activity or to be partner of a company in Qatar. However, the Qatari partner, in case you get in partnership with him, can give you enough support in certain circumstances, especially when it's your first step towards this part of the world and he may facilitate the marketing of your product, he may indicate to you the uh, markets, he may help you by giving you some important advices. So, depending on your choice, depending on your strategy to enter to the Qatari market, you have a big range of options, and the option you will choose, Dima and myself will assist you in order to facilitate uh, your implementation in Qatar. At the very end of this short speech, I will say that the GCC in general, the Gulf Cooperation Council States, and Qatar in particular, have a lot to offer. There are a lot of opportunities that you don't find in other parts of the world. The economy of Qatar is going strong and getting stronger and I can tell you that uh, only the indication that Qatar is going to welcome in 2022 the World Cup for football and where we are expecting more than one and a half million visitors within one month, it's an indication how Qatar has very well prepared to receive the world during this event. I wish you a very good networking. I hope that I will have another opportunity next time to come and visit your beautiful country. And at the very end, I will conclude by saying Adeus a Ate Breveno Qatar. Goodbye and see you soon in Qatar.